Hi everyone, this is my solution to the Singapore math problem, Cheryl's birthday. If you remember, Albert was given only the months, May, June, July or August, and Bernard was given only the days, 14, 15, 16 or 17. For obvious reasons, uh, Bernard can easily eliminate June 18 and May 19 because 18 and 19 are unique numbers on the among the 10 days. So Barnard gets rid of them. For the same reason, Albert can also get rid of May 19 and June 18. Now that June 18 is gone, June 17 is a possibility as that is the only day left in June. However, as Albert says in the first condition, Barnard is not sure because he couldn't answer the birthday and the reason is June 17 as Barnard only has 17 also another 17 would be August 17 that makes Albert think that that is not the correct one but in the same logic Bernard might think Albert would have answered June 17 as the correct answer because that is the only thing left in June and if Albert was told about June then Albert would have said it. So we know June 17 is not the correct answer. So we can get rid of June 17. Now, hearing all this above, Bernard now says uh, he knows the answer. As Albert knows the correct month, Bernard deduced that removing June 18 only leaves June 17 for the month of June, like we said. And as the remaining dates have doubles, that is uh, the dates ending in 14, 15 and 16 have doubles and I guess, yeah, we talked about 17, right? 14, 15 and 16 have doubles. The only remaining date is um, August 17th. So it is my logical deduction and Barnard's I guess that August 17th is the birthday. And now that Barnard knows it, using the same uh, deduction, Albert also thinks August 17th is the birthday. Dear Albert and Bernard, please just talk to yourselves, just find out the date. And Cheryl, shame on you for torturing millions like me and your friends. Well, happy birthday Cheryl. I hope August 17th is your birthday. Bye.